Hey guys, it's Sonia here, and I'll be sharing with you my experience of flying back to Taiwan during COVID, as well as how the quarantine process went. There will be two parts to my vlog since there's a bit too much to fit into one video. And without further ado, let's jump into part one, the flight. It's almost 5.30, we're gonna head to my dad's friend's house because he's gonna drive us to the airport. And I'm gonna brush my teeth and we're gonna pack and leave. Final preparations. Our flight was actually past 12 a.m., but my dad wanted to get to the airport early since there was a curfew at the time due to riots around the area. This was the first time I saw the SFO airport being so empty. It's currently 9 o'clock. We just started lining up and there's so many people already. The line continues. We'll see how long it takes till it gets to us. While we were waiting in line to check in, we were asked to use this QR code to fill out some travel information about ourselves. Aside from some basic passenger information such as passport number and name, I also had to include a phone number that can be used to contact us once I get to Taiwan, where I plan on staying for quarantine, and how I plan on getting there. Once I filled out all the information on the website, I had to screenshot this page as proof for later when I arrive in Taiwan. Further into the line, I had to sign this agreement form to ensure that all the information I provided was correct and that I'd be held responsible if things go wrong. Now I didn't get to film this part, but everyone was furiously wiping their whole seat before sitting down. The lady behind me even offered some disinfecting spray while I was cleaning my seat. Hey guys, we're on a plane now. It's so crowded. It's a full flight. And look who's sitting next to me. Yay. Oh, he took off his gloves. But yeah, I'm probably going to take them off later. So basically, everyone's wearing masks, and some of them have goggles on, and they have like full suits, some of them. And I just wipe down my seat and everything. Hopefully, hopefully it's enough to disinfect whatever's on here. But yeah, we'll see. We're kind of delayed right now already. And I'm next to the window, so I get to have a really nice view. And we're off. In case you didn't know, I really, really enjoy plane rides, so you will probably be seeing a lot of footage I filmed on the plane. Here I am finally having my first meal because I slept past the actual first meal from getting too excited about taking off. By the way, is it just me or do airplane meals actually taste really good? Anyways, by the time I woke up and finished my meal, we were about two hours away from arriving. And in a blink of an eye, we were ready to land. As soon as I landed and installed my SIM card, I got this text that confirmed who I was and it was linked to the certificate that would be shown to quarantine officers at the airport. The lines moved very slowly since they had to check each family's information again before letting us in. Those who didn't have a SIM card were asked to get one before they joined the line. We then went to pick up our luggage. They were quite wet when we got them, so I assumed that they were sanitized. We loaded our luggages onto this quarantine van. My mom was in the country at the time, but she wasn't allowed to leave the house since she was already in quarantine. And wow, I didn't realize how much I missed the view in Taiwan until I saw it myself.
We arrived home around 8 a.m. and each person got a bag of quarantine goodies. The bag included a brochure of what services can be provided, a pack of ramen, a bottle of bleach, beef stew, coffee, crackers, and basically lots of snacks. There were also masks, trash bags, and a thermometer. I heard that each city gave different stuff, but I was staying in Shinju City at the time and that is what the government provided us with. Alright guys, I just finished my shower because you gotta get rid of those germs, right? And I just realized I'm super duper hungry because I slept 11 hours straight on the plane. It was like a 13 hour ride and I did not eat my first meal. So that was not enough food apparently for me. And now I'm really hungry and I'm just gonna wait for lunch to come. My mom made this beef noodle soup for lunch and oh my gosh, it was so freaking good. I love Taiwan. That afternoon, I worked on my CS50 lesson and tidied up my desk since it looked like Typhoon swept over when I left. And that's pretty much it for part one. The rest of what I did during quarantine is included in part two, so be sure to check it out when it comes out. I hope you enjoyed part one as much as I enjoyed the plane ride, and I'll see you next time. Bye!